Welcome again to our um, another episode of Encounter with God Together. I'm so happy to have Janet Morgan back with us this week. Janet, as I mentioned last week, is a former SU International Director with just loads of experience um, in the Scripture Union movements around the world. And uh, Janet, it's so good to have you back. What um, have you been? Uh, great. And the readings have been great last week and looking forward to this week. Of course, uh, I have the privilege of reading ahead. Uh, yeah. so it's It's been fantastic. So really uh, well, I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Why don't we why don't we just open in a word of prayer and uh, and then we'll get to it. Father, I thank you again for um, for these words in Corinthians that we're about to look at and that um, you've been speaking to this community about this past week and the week ahead. And I pray for Janet as she shares that you give her um, words from your spirit to share with, uh, with us today. In your, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, Janet, why don't you catch us up? It, it's on, been uh, wonderful. Where we've been. Yeah. Last week, the readings, you know, it's, it's wonderful to see how the Apostle Paul was was trying to show this fledgling church a new way. This is how you be the people of God. And not mm. only individually, but together mm -hmm. in community. And, you know, you can see that Paul had been trying to model just what that's supposed to, to uh, look like. Uh, and even while he was under personal attack, yet he kept trying to help this church uh, prevent themselves from just being torn apart. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, I love, I love how he said to them, you know, you may want a letter of proof that we are who we say we are, but you're our letter. Look at, look at what God has done in your lives yeah. as a result of us being faithful to our calling. Uh, so wonderful way that he illustrated some of those things, uh, some of the key words from last week were things like comfort and, mm. you know, that coming alongside and coming near uh, forgiveness. If someone does grieve you, forgive them and forgive me yeah. <laughs> uh, for causing you grief and trying to help them understand who they are now, uh, it, talking about them as being the aroma of Christ. Uh, being transformed into his image and being people of faith who live by faith, mm. not by sight. So right. it's been great. Then, um, but the, the one of the one of the highlights for me too was talking about how they are those who are entrusted with the good news, yes. that treasure that they've been entrusted with. He gave us the light of the knowledge of God's word. And then, of course, he says, in jars of clay. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, but uh, isn't it wonderful how we've been entrusted uh, with that? And, uh, and how um, it reminded me in 1 Corinthians of how Paul had said uh, that this is how you ought to regard us as servants of Christ and those entrusted with the mysteries God has revealed. And that always has had a, that verse an impact. Here mm. they are, people, and here we are, people who have been entrusted with the mysteries that God has revealed. Yeah, it's really, it's humbling. Incredible, it's yeah. Humbling for Paul, and that's what he was trying to say. There's no boasting in this. Um, you know, you're not. He hasn't entrusted to to you because you're clever, uh, right? Or entrusted. <laughs> To you because you're rich or you're yeah. successful. Uh, and uh, so we are servants of that ministry. So this week, chapters five to eight, he now turns his attention to that ministry and that mission of believers and a new way of um, of looking at that too. No longer sacrifices that you take to the temple. And uh, here, here is something new for you. Uh, and... Um, he talks a lot about uh, reconciliation. Mm. I love that word. I love it too. And it's so clear in these passages, isn't it? The, mm. 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 And the try to gift. Yeah. And understand what that means, you know? Yeah. And in our reading today, uh, you know, he, ha he includes a wonderful summary of the gospel. Um, I'll just read it. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone. The new is here. 
All this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them. Mm. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. Yeah. There's this theme, right? the <laughs> it's the theme that comes out of what we've been given and 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 that we are given it and and to give it, mm. you know. And I really like Paul's emphasis on Christ's love, mm. uh, compelling us, you Absolutely. know. Yes, it's it's God's love that compels us, and it was His love that compelled Him to uh, to continue to persist with these people uh, in Corinth. I, Despite everything, that potential of them being and having this ministry of reconciliation, that outworking of that mission, uh, mission. So, and he tries to describe a little bit about what inst being instruments of reconciliation is, and he talks mm -hmm. about opening their hearts, just as he opened his heart to them. You have to open your heart to me and to to each other. Yeah. having open hearts and he yeah. talks about purifying themselves from anything that contaminates body and spirit and of course we know they had terrible problems with temple cults right. uh, in Corinth and those were the things that they were used to that was the the um, culture that they were immersed in yes absolutely so you have to purify yourselves from that mm. basically telling them try to avoid anything in your life that takes the place of God in your life now. Uh, and then he goes on to talk about generosity. And of course, we know there was a lot of wealth in Corinth and they've been helpful to others in the past. But I love how, and look for this this week in these readings, how he refers to financial giving as an act of grace. Of grace, that's right. And it's amazing. Yes, and evidence of their love for others. Mm -hmm. uh, so the whole thing is imbued with love through this whole thing. Reconciliation, forgiveness, and love for one another. Be generous. Um, and I love providing for us so that we can in turn provide for others. Um, you know, providing all the way, you know, from, from the great gift of, of his very um, gift of reconciliation all the way down to provision for for the things we need. Uh, it says we possess everything, right? And, um, you know, obviously that took on a, an eternal mindset, but um, at the same time, there's this real practical charge. Absolutely. And uh, I love the way that it expressed by Jesus in Matthew 5, when he's talking to them about being salt and light. Mm. And uh, mm -hmm. in the message, he ends that passage by saying be generous with your lives beautiful and that's what paul was trying to show them have open hearts be generous uh with your life purify yourselves put aside those things that would keep you from being the very people that god is calling you to be people of reconciliation uh, so we've got a very rich um sort of uh uh, chapters of, of reading before us uh, this week. And uh, just so that you know, I want to warn you, he also tries to sort of address an elephant in the room. <laughs> so in the middle of all this, he, to do. <laughs> he, in, he tries to deal with a hurt that has been caused to them by his first letter. And mm. he's so generous uh, in his uh, approach to that too. So look out for that uh, this yeah. week as well. Oh. Yep. excited for the week ahead mm -hmm. and um and it looks like we've got yet another week in corinthians yes uh, so yeah, yeah we're done a in, third week yes third week. So, third week. So, so we're giving you an even further look ahead <laughs> yeah, uh. that's right and uh, I, I mean it's uh this week in particular is a great exploration of what the church is to be and there is so much in it that is applicable to us today so yeah have your eyes open and your eyes open uh, for that uh, as well. Absolutely, Janet. Would you um, would you pray for us? I will. And uh, pray for the things we're going to be encountering this week. I think uh, as we we look okay. to. Mm. Let's pray. Father, we do pray that by your Spirit 
you will equip us to be your people, both individually and in the church, and Father, in our communities. Uh, we thank you for your grace and pray that we might be instruments of reconciliation wherever we go, mm -hmm. uh, bringing many to the truth of God in Jesus Christ. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Janet. And yeah, it, for those of you who are new, who are new to um, the Encounter with God uh, devotional guide, we do have um, a quarterly guide that you can receive. This is this quarter's in my hand, and you can also look for it on our uh, on our website, uh, www.scriptureunion.org. You can access. Um, the print ver or the email version there as well as read it online so there's three three different ways you can receive it i think janet you you typically read it in your email is that right or do you go right to the website I read it in my email and also um gail too it might be worth reminding them that there is an encounter with god extra as well that can oh. be in group in a group talk about that a little bit janet yeah it's uh it has uh just some key questions for groups uh, for discussion. So those who are regular encounter or discovery uh, has the same uh, readers. Uh, there is a group discussion guide called Extra. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Thank you for reminding me about that. I did. For, I did forget. So until next week, um, I'll say goodbye for you for now, Janet. But thanks for your your great thoughts on that. Yeah. Thank and you. It was a pleasure. Great. We'll see you next week. Yes. See you next week.